The Transformation Project works with transgender youth and their families. Two months ago, the state's Department of Health terminated a contract it had with the advocacy group. That contract allowed the organization to create a community health worker position using federal grant money. Today, the Transformation Project filed a federal lawsuit against Governor Kristi Noem and the Secretary of Health in their official capacities. Kevillan's Lauren Solik was at the organization's gala tonight where the announcement was made. You know, having that grant canceled, uh, we believe was discrimination against the transgender community. So we're very grateful that um, the lawsuit has been filed and that we can move forward. Susan Williams is the executive director of the Transformation Project. The lawsuit her organization filed is being taken on by a team of lawyers at Robbins Kaplan Law Firm. Uh, we're very concerned with the state's actions and, and particularly the impact it has on South Dakota's LGBTQ community. And so we wanted to take a stand uh, and, and send a message uh, that we will fight any unconstitutional or unlawful action by the state of South Dakota. Johnson classifies the termination of the Transformation Project's contract as bullying behavior by the state. And it's not okay to discriminate against any community in South Dakota. It's not okay to discriminate against our LGBTQ neighbors. Uh, in my view, our LGBTQ community is a beautiful and proud part of the fabric of our state. And we want to make sure that their constitutional rights are protected. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Zolik, Kelloland News. When the contract was terminated, Ian Fury, the governor's chief of communications, told the conservative news outlet The Daily Signal that the contract was signed without Nome's approval and that the state does not support the organization's efforts. He also alleged that the transformation project failed to submit quarterly reports, a requirement of the state contract. To read more about the contract and the lawsuit, visit this story on Kevillan.com.